the next uh, story I'm going to read to you is one called Daddy's Sandwich. And you can see here, this is a rather big sandwich. It's got a little girl stood on top. It looks like she's holding some ketchup. What kind of sandwiches do you like? in there. What's he doing? <laughs> Even the cats stopped to listen. Daddy, would you like a sandwich with all your favourite things? Mmm, yes please. Hope Daddy's getting a biscuit from the jar on the side, yummy. Now, what does Daddy really like? Daddy loves white bread crusty on the outside and daddy loves butter not too much daddy loves cheese just a teeny bit stinky my goodness look how much cheese she's put on this bread do you think her daddy likes that much cheese i'm not sure daddy loves tomato with the green bit pulled off daddy loves biscuits Dunked in tea. Hang on a second. Is she putting tea and biscuits in a sandwich? Have you ever had a tea and biscuit sandwich? I definitely haven't. Daddy loves his slippers because they're old and very cosy. Is she going to put the slippers in the sandwich? Let's see. Uh-oh. Daddy loves his newspaper, but not when it's been crinkled. Daddy loves his phone with the sound up very loud. Daddy loves the TV and all those boring sports shows. Daddy loves his bike, but it's far too big. Oh, these will do. She's got a helmet and a bicycle pump that you use for pumping up tyres when they go flat. Daddy loves mum's bubble bath. He sits in there for ages. And if you look, she's taken the bubble bath out of the bathroom. She's taken it all the way down the stairs. And it's dripped everywhere. I'm not sure if her daddy's going to be pleased about that. Daddy loves his camera. And I'm not supposed to touch it. But maybe just this once. Daddy loves his banjo. Ding, 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 ding and his tool belt and his deck chair. Daddy loves my jelly beans. Hmm. And my jigsaws, my drawings, my paddling pool, my pop-up books. I don't think all of these things should be going into a sandwich. Daddy's sandwich is nearly finished. Just a great big squirt of ketchup and a slice of bread to go on top. I know more than anything, look at this sandwich. Oh my goodness. I've never seen a sandwich like that before. More than anything, Daddy loves me. Daddy, your sandwich is ready. And if you have a look here, how do you think her daddy's feeling? He looks a bit worried, doesn't he? Or a bit shocked, maybe. And even the cat looks a bit confused. Wow, well, I hope he enjoys his sandwich. So I thought it would be quite good fun for um, us to learn how to make a sandwich together. So first of all, I'm going to show you a quick video of um, Kate, who helped me this week to make a sandwich um, so that you could all have a look. Okay. Okay, okay so Kate, before we came uh, to make our sandwiches, what did we have to do? What did we just go and do? Wash. What did we have to do with our hands? Wash. Wash them, and that's really important because we don't want any germs on our hands. Can you tell me what you've got in front of you? What have you got? What's this? 
Plate. A plate. Good girl. And what's on the plate? Bread. Good girl. And what's in here? Butter. Butter. And what about in here? Cheese. Some cheese. And people might not want to have um, cheese in their sandwiches. What other things might they want to put in their sandwiches? Uh, butter. Yeah, they like butter. What did you say you like in your sandwiches? Uh, cheese and um, chocolate. <gasps> chocolate spread, maybe, or jam, maybe tuna or egg or cucumber. It's up, it's up to them what they decide oh. to put in their sandwich. But we're going to have a go at making a cheese sandwich. So could you take a piece of bread, Kate? Good girl. And lay them out in front of you. Put them next to each other. Perfect. And where's your knife? And we need to put some butter on the bread. So open up the butter. Good girl. And let's have a go at spreading the butter on the bread. Good girl, well done. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> you can eat it right now. <laughs> well done. Now, can you use your knife to push it all around the bread? It's quite tricky to do. Well done, Kate. Okay. You're having a really good go. Lovely, good girl. Oh, okay, not too much. Wow, we eat lots of butter. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Would you like me to help you flatten it a little bit? No, thank you. No, you're happy? Okay, if you've got a little bit too much, you could put some on this plate. Good girl. Okay, right, when you've spread your butter all around your sandwich, what do you need to do now? Cheese. Add some cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, it's really cheesy. Do you like cheese? Yeah. Well Too much cheese. <laughs> what do you think you need to do next? Um, when you've got all the cheese on your sandwich, what do you, what do you need to do? Um, the, um, Good girl. Put the other piece of bread and push it down. Right, now we've got to have a go at cutting it in half, okay? So this bit, you might need an adult to help you. So I've got another knife. And should we do it into triangles or should we do it into rectangles? What would you like? Triangles. Triangles. Okay, I'm going to go this way from one corner all the way across. There we go. And would you like, would you like me to cut it again so it's four triangles? Yeah. Or are you going to eat it? <laughs> Is it yummy, Gabe? Can we pop it on the plate? Well done. That's a really good sandwich. Would you like to hold it up to show all your friends? Show everybody. Well done. Does it taste good? Well done, Kate. So maybe all of your friends could have a go at home and making their own sandwich. What do you think? I'm going to tell them. You're going to tell them, aren't you? Well done. I'm going to come to every single house. I'm going to tell them. <laughs> so can you remember all the things that Kate had to put in her sandwich? She started with one slice of bread, didn't she? And what did she put on top of the bread? That's right, she put some butter on top. She had to get a knife, and she had an adult with her. She got a knife and she spread the butter on top of the bread. Um, and then it was time to put her filling inside. Um, now, Kate put some cheese in her sandwich, but I know that she mentioned some other ideas for things, and I'm sure you've got a favorite sandwich filling. Um, and then the last thing that needs to go on top there's another slice of bread, because the sandwich has two slices of bread. So maybe when it's lunchtime, or maybe on another day, you could ask a grown-up if you could help to make your own sandwich. And if you do make a sandwich um, with a grown-up at home, then I would absolutely love to see a picture. So if you email a picture to nursery, or you ask a grown-up to email a picture to nursery, then I can share it with all of your friends the next time I make a video. Um, and I really can't wait to see what you put inside them. So in your pack that was sent home, I gave you a sheet that looks a little bit like this. Um, it says, my sandwich. And if you want, you could have a go at designing your own sandwich. Now, your sandwich could be a sensible sandwich, or it could be a little bit silly. And I think I'm going to draw a picture of a really disgusting sandwich. The first thing I'm going to add to my really disgusting sandwich is a spider. Is the spider's body. How many legs does a spider have? 
throat a spider has eight legs. Help me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's the spider's eight legs. I'm gonna give him a little piece of web to hang from. Here are his eyes. And there's his mouth, there's my spider. Oh, in my disgusting sandwich, I'm gonna have a wiggly worm. Here he is, wiggling up the side of my sandwich. Here's my wiggly worm. Oh, this is a really disgusting sandwich. And I think just like the little girl in the story, I'm going to have a slice of really stinky cheese. There's my slice of stinky cheese. And these lines show that it's really smelly. Oh, what else shall I add? I know, my disgusting sandwich is gonna have a stinky sock in it. Here's my stinky sock. Stinky sock. Oh, this sandwich is looking disgusting. So why don't you have a go at home? You can put all your favourite things into, into your sandwich or like me, you can make it really stinky and disgusting.